talked to a lot of poly people on this podcast and you know so many of my listeners can't like wrap their heads around the idea of that kind of relationship so what makes it work for you guys I mean, obviously, as you know, it's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. So for us, what works is we all don't really have jealousy. Like, mm -hmm. it's very odd, and most people don't believe that that exists. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a polyamorous family. Mm -hmm. So for me, jealousy is not really something that I developed growing up. Mm -hmm. So for me, if I see my partner doing something that makes them happy, I fucking love it, regardless yeah. of what it is. Yeah. And we all kind of have that dynamic together. Okay. So it's like, if we see the other person happy, why would we have an issue with that? Right. So I feel like that's why it works for us. Right. You say you grew up in a polyamorous family. Yes. What, what does that mean? So were your parents poly? My parents were poly. Okay. Yeah. So we actually, they were not, when I was younger, I was around like 13, 14, well, I guess that's still younger, but I was around 13 or 14 when they started experimenting. And so for a while, uh, my mom had two boyfriends who, well, I guess one was the husband, but my mom was with two guys and then it was two girls and my mom and dad. It's, it was always groups. So I grew up kind of accustomed to that and seeing like if somebody's happy, like that's totally worth it. Yeah. How did they explain that to you? They didn't. It oddly. just kind of happened? Yeah. My, my parents are a little on the crazy side. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say they handled it in a responsible way. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess I just kind of took it in the way I needed to. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they didn't explain it. They were just kind of like one day brought someone home and they were like, this is them. Yeah. And we all were just kind of like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, cur I'm curious about this too because my parents were swingers. Um, and so, you know, they like partied and slept with other people and went to orgy parties and had all that yes. fun. So that's not something like your story to me isn't that crazy. <laughs> but that was very much when I was younger. And so like when I was growing up, I don't remember them having like, I mean, they had friends. Who knows like what they, I mean, actually, I do remember Ginger Lynn telling me once, I think she came over for dinner and like after I went to bed, like they all had sex in the living room or something like that. <laughs> That is amazing, though. Yeah, but, like, you know, I didn't really... Know. But I also, like, I guess as a kid, you don't really think too much about those things. If it seems don't. like your parents are taking care of you and they're connected with each other, which they very much were, um, then everything's fine. And exactly. for me, it like, was, like... why question it? If yeah, everything like, is the way it should be, why question it? Yeah, and if you feel, like, supported and loved, then... Yeah, of course. You know. For me, the funniest part was uh, my parents had nine children. Together, they were together for 22 years. Wow. So they're all biological, but my youngest sister looks exactly like my dad's best friend. So <laughs> <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Do, has that ever like come up at Christmas or uh, <laughs> anyone done a DNA up in conversation? Test? But everyone's pretending that it's not that way. Oh my so <laughs> god, that's so funny. <laughs> but I swear she looks nothing like my dad. It's exactly like my dad's best friend. Oh my and god. And my dad's best friend has a son, and I swear they're identical. So it's wow. Great. <laughs> and they're still best friends. Not anymore, but not for that reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was more of a we moved out of town thing. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, my God. That's so interesting.